Hey, I'm in soft mic. I was just looking at my collection and I've got more down there which is off camera and I've just realised my channel's fairly new. I've only been going a few months and I've got over 300 subscriptions already and for that I am truly grateful. Thank you very much. Giveaways will start happening later this year. Put that aside. As I was saying, I was just looking at my collection and I've realised I've shown you all sorts of airsoft weaponry. But the one thing I haven't shown you yet is an awesome support weapon. So, um, let's get to it. So, <laughs> let's get to it. looking a and k m249 para oh what a beast um there's no way i can stand here and show you all the features of this i've got to set this up put it on the ground and uh show it to you close up show you all the features everything it can do but oh boy this is awesome this is really awesome so uh i'll be right back Right, so here we go people, this is the awesome looking ANK M249 Para. Let's just go through exactly what you get in the box and the various features of this uh, gun. So straight away I can show you that you get a box mag. Ah, uh, much better. Uh, holds about 2,500 rounds. I will show you this closer and the special feature that it has also in a moment. Life is like a box of ammo. Um, the gun itself, Pretty much all metal. There are some plastic parts, for example, we've got a tough polymer grip, and I do believe this lower part here, yeah, that's some form of tough polymer. Um, but pretty much, and yeah, the handle, just this piece of the handle there, and there's probably one or two other pieces, but everything else, full metal, and it's a really heavy gun. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not something you want to be running around with. Now, let's talk about the different features of this gun. It's got a extendable and rotating stock, so I'll show you that now. And all you do is you, you pull on it, and if you keep pulling it out like that, you can then turn it and release it, and there's your extendable stock. There's also a shoulder rest on here as well. There you go. You've also got this very cool and tactical looking rear sight which has a left and right windage elevation. So it's adjustable here, as you can see. And this knob right here, 
moves the sight from left to right. Absolutely fantastic. If you look very carefully as I turn it, you probably just about see it moving. The front sight is also adjustable. It's got a nice long rail at the top so you can fit a scope or anything else to your heart's desire. You also have a feed tray cover right here. Um, obviously on the real steel, that's where you would feed your real rounds through. But on this Airsoft model, if I open it up for you, you get access to the hop-up adjustment right there. But technically, also serves a purpose for feeding through dummy bullets. Because this metal piece right here, what you do is you grab hold of it, push it down, and then you feed your inert dummy rounds here, and then the rest of those rounds goes into your box mag. I'll show you all of that in a moment. Here's your mock charging handle. The ANK M249 Para only has two modes when it comes to firing the weapon. It's either on safe or full auto. Using this button right here. The M249 Para comes with a handle right here, has many different positions to hold it. So the first thing you would do is you need to push it in before you can maneuver it. So if I just grab hold of this properly, this is a weighty piece. <laughs> Uh, right, here we go. So if I grab hold of it, push it in a bit, you can have it in that up position there. Grab hold of it again. You can have it in that side position there. Grab hold of it again. You can have it down on the side of the weapon. Very tactical. Just like the real steel, there's a gas regulator right here, but obviously on this Airsoft model, it's a Mach 1, doesn't really do anything. But on the real steel, when you turn that, that will turn the rate of fire up or down. There's two ways to get to the battery compartment on this M249. You can access the battery compartment either from the top or from the bottom. I recommend you don't touch the top. It's much easier to do it from the bottom of the gun. If I just show it to you here, the first thing you've got to do is get the bipod out of the way. And I'll tell you what, I take the time right now to tell you about the bipod. The bipod sits neatly underneath the weapon here. You just simply pull it out, let it go, and there it is. It's got different positions. You can just press this button right there to get the leg to extend. To get to the battery compartment, all you do, get a firm grip of this and pull it down to yourself and pull it off. But before you do that, it's recommended that you move the handle out of the way. So I'll do that right now. And there's your small Tamiya to connect the battery. Obviously this is a brand new gun, so because of that, the battery that came with it needs charging. So that's currently on my smart charger, but I do have other batteries. So I'm just gonna connect this 8.4 volt battery pack to it now. I would suggest when you are putting the battery pack in that you do make sure that none of these cables get caught or snagged on any other part of the gun because these cables don't look that strong to be fair. Okay, so the battery pack is now securely secured in here. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna make sure that it is working and everything is ticking along nicely. So I'll take it off safe, fire off a couple of blank rounds so there's nothing in it. Yep, sounds good to me. Nice. Just gonna put it back on safe, there you go. Personally, I use the SM3 Wii EU Power Smart Charger from obviously WE. Charges many different types of batteries for your airsoft weapons, but you don't have to use a charger like this, because a charger like this or similar to this will cost you around 40 to 50 pounds. You can get cheaper smart chargers. Whatever you do, make sure you get yourself a smart charger. Even a more basic smart charger will cost you only about, what, 10, 15 quid? And it's gonna be much better than the ones that come with this or nearly all AEGs. Because a smart charger will stop charging your battery when it's finished charging. These dumb chargers that come with these things, they'll just keep on going until your battery goes bang or your battery swells up like a balloon. So let's show you the box mag. Um, it's a very cool box mag. The features on this were quite surprising when I got it. On the bottom of the mag, you've got a switch and it's got three different modes. Absolutely fantastic. You've got your first mode, which is obviously off. You've got your auto or you've got your sound control. Now that's very interesting and I'll show you exactly how that works in a moment. First thing I'll do is show you how it opens. Uh, you've got two little clips either side, so you just get hold of it and pull on these little levers right here. Now look, 
open. Just bring it up to the camera. That's the inside of the box mag. And as you can see, there's another battery compartment. Two AA batteries will fit in there. Down there is all the circuits and the wires for this box mag. And you're thinking, why do you need batteries and wires for? Well, that's where the sound control and full auto comes in. I'll show you that in a moment. And this side here is where you fill it up with 2,500 BBs. So let's do that now. Before I fill the mag with all the BBs, let me show you how this magazine works. Earlier, I showed you this little switch right here. Now that the batteries are in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it to full auto. That's your auto mode. So that's the sound of the box mag continually feeding BBs up through here into the gun. So, what does sound control do, I hear you ask? Well, if I push it to sound control, nothing. But what happens when you pull the trigger on the AEG, obviously all AEGs make a noise. On this box mag, there's a little microphone just here. That microphone picks up the noise from the AEG and it starts to feed the BBs through. How cool is that? Now, obviously I've not got it connected to the uh, AEG just yet, but let me see if I can make enough noise to just to show you how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mouth really close to this mic and make some form of noise just to see if it triggers off the motor in this box mag. Here we go. Bang, bang. Did you hear that? Bang, bang. There you go. So as soon as this picks up any noise, and for the purpose of this uh, airsoft gun, it's when you're firing the gun, it will pick up that noise, it will set the motor off in here, which in turn will feed the BBs up into your AEG. Right, so now I'm gonna fill the mag up with some BBs. Now it takes 2,500, that's a lot of BBs. This is a support weapon when you're out there in the airsoft field, so you are gonna need a lot of rounds. I do suggest the absolute lightest BBs that you use would be your 0.20s or the 0.20s. Don't, do, don't use the 0.12s, okay? The 0.12s will just shatter into pieces inside your gun and they'll mess up your gearbox. So at minimum use 0.20 or higher. So I've got some here. So I'm literally just gonna fill the, the magazine up in this section right here. Magazines all full. What I'm gonna do now is set up the gun so it's ready to skirmish. But I do like the fact that you can put inert dummy rounds on this piece as well to make it look really authentic. So yeah, these are dummy, they're not real, and they don't actually come with this, but because this is a real true replica of the real steel, it does have the, the port where you can feed these in and I'll do that for you right now, just for effect. So, first thing I've got to do though, is get the gun, open up the feeding tray, bring this metal piece down like that, get your dummy rounds, and you can just sit them here, just rest them here, like that. Close your feeding tray, Uh, let me just spin it around for you and <laughs> look at that. So of course this part will feed into your box mag and it also serves another purpose, not just to look real, but I'll show you what else having these dummy rounds does for your overall look of your gun. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is move these uh, dummy rounds out of the way and you see right here, that's where that part of the mag feeds into. So let's attach that now. And you push it in until you hear a click. There's your click, I think. Yeah, that's good. So now I grab hold of this box. It is a little fiddly. This really isn't a beginner's uh, AEG. It is fiddly, but once you've done, once you have, are done, should I say, it is very satisfying. So then you just slide the box mag in and there was another click right there. Right, now to show you the dual purpose for these dummy rounds. Apart from looking really cool and realistic, 
especially if you're movie making, it also covers up these two unsightly tubes right here. Um, so what you do, you can just bring it down and inside, you can't see it from this angle, but inside there, there is a little hook where this part of your dummy round will hook into. It is fiddly to do, but once it's in there, it really does look the part. I mean, you don't actually have to hook it in. You could actually put it in there like that. And there you are. Excellent. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna extend the bipod, extend the butt stock, and show you a wide shot of this bad boy to show you how awesome it looks. And there it is, in all its glory. It's the ANK M249 Para. Absolutely epic. Another thing that I want to mention as well, you don't have to use the box mag. You can use a standard M16 or M4 type mag in this AEG also. So you can take the box mag off completely and slot one of these bad boys in and it still works. Fantastic. winds the BBs up into the gun. Oh, this is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. So, what's my honest first opinion on this ANK M249 Para? Well, to look at, it is absolutely awesome. It fires very well, it's very sturdy. I will say this though, this magazine box down here you gotta be very careful with it. Some of the wiring is a little too thin for my liking. Also, my only other criticism of this piece is this front sight. I don't know why, but it is loose as hell. So I'm gonna do something with that to see if I can get that tightened up. Apart from that, this bad boy is solid. Looks the part, very tactical, excellent support weapon. You'll have your airsoft enemies running a mile if you point this at them. Groovy. Oh man, so here it is people, this is it. The awesome ANK M249 Para, complete with inert dummy bullets. Looks absolutely authentic. This will be fantastic to use in movies and an awesome support weapon in a nearsoft game. I'm Airsoft Mike. And